Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and elaborate a little bit more on starting low life, or sorry, not low life, just regular righteous fire on pretty much the cheapest budget you could pretty much get your character going. So here I have a level 29 shadow that is not specced for righteous fire at all. In fact, this is actually my character for frostbolt mines. As you can see, I've specced into volatile mines. I don't have any form of life regeneration on my tree. Um, I pass by life regen, but I don't have anything. So basically, this character is not specialized for righteous fire in any type of way. We're sitting at 75 fire resist, and here's as follows with our gear. A simple ash collar for the increased burning damage. Two pyre rings for the fire and cold resist, but mainly because of the 70, well, I think it's 60 to 80% increased burn damage or somewhere around there, which is pretty huge. A simple sprig leaf because we get 3% life regen per second. I'm using Wanderlust for just simple boots and Belt of the Deceiver because it's basically a multiplier because it's monsters take 10% increased damage. So these are all pretty much just the basics. You could do a bunch of other stuff if you'd like. So I just want to show you guys a little example. I'm using a Superior Giant Life Flask. It's not rolled with anything in any type of way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this Life Flask while I turn on Righteous Fire. And you'll notice that with this Life Flask on, my health actually goes up. Right? So by doing this, you can actually just simply run through the content very, very easily and you don't really have to worry about it. For people who are having issues saying that it was difficult for them to do it, uh, or it's sketchy, it's really not that scary because all you have to do is run a bubbling flask and you're good to go. So this character actually is doing an okay amount of damage with just a two-linked Righteous Fire. Um, hopefully I don't get hit with flammability right here from this mob because this will kind of destroy me. But it's just a quick example to show you guys how easy that you can get this character going. And there are so many other uniques that you can use. If you feel that this is too sketchy for you, there are rings called Kikazarus, which give you flat life regen per level up. So if you feel that you're more comfortable running that way, uh, you're able to do that. But just remember that if this character was actually spec for Righteous Fire, he would be doing considerable amounts of, of damage compared to what he's doing now. Uh, probably even like two to three times the amount, you know, if I were to use a increased burn damage support gem or simply just scale more life on my tree. Remember that the more life you get early game, the harder it's going to be for you to run it because we're not dealing with percentage regeneration, we're dealing with flat regeneration. Flasks such as, you know, life flasks do not heal you by percentage, they heal you by amount. Meaning if I were to use a greater life flask, you'll notice my health will still go down. However, by using a giant life flask, my health will actually go up. What this means is you can just roll another flask in this slot, like a bubbling or a seeding flask, and you can just treat it like a normal build. You basically keep your life flask on at all times. If you take damage, you hit a bubbling life flask, your life will go up. It's actually very easy to level with it. Um, again, the reason why this character looks kind of sketchy is because I'm playing a Frostbolt Miner using Righteous Fire. Um, by just, you know, simple common sense, you should be able to figure out that by playing it as an actual build, such as a Marauder or a Templar or however else you'd like to be, there is life regeneration all over the tree, as you can see highlighted by the following nodes. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. I hope this, guys, gets you starting with Righteous Fire right away. Um, if, as of course, if you don't want to level with RF, you don't have to, but just remember that every single skill point you get when you're leveling with Righteous Fire is like an exponential increase to your character, whether it's scaling your maximum life, scaling your damage, or simply just being able to run it better. Um, so that's pretty much about it. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.